Welcome back to the Raga Lab lesson series. I'm Will Marsh, we're in the key of D, and in today's session, session number eight, we're focusing on Rag Klamaj, which is a beautiful rag, a very important rag, because it is also a tot. And many rags come from the Klamaj tot, um, such as Desh, Jinjo tea, Gabo tea, to name a few that hail from this uh, beautiful tot. And the defining features of Kamaj are the use of both Shuddhani and Komoni and the way that we dance between those. Uh, the rest of the other notes are all Shuddha notes. We have Shuddhare, Shuddhaga, Shuddhama, Shuddhada, and then both knees. So it has a very joyful and expressive feeling, a lot of um, ornamentation, and hence it's also a common rag in Tumri and folk music. But it's also a fully um, standalone classical rag too. And we'll start by looking at our tuning for rag Kamaj. Um, and then we'll go into ascending descending pattern. I have a great composition to teach you and then a few of the key phrases. So here we go in the key of D with 13 sympathetic strings. Uh, I'll show you how I tune. And I always like to start with the highest note because it's just easier to move down through the tariffs than try to pick your way up across. So for 13 strings, if you have less than 13, I would just skip the highest and start on the second. And we'll go ahead and start with the highest string. I will tune the highest string to ga or F sharp, should the ga. Second string or second tariff, I will tune to E or should the re. A third one down, I will tune to Sa, D. Our fourth one down, C sharp or Shuddhani. Fifth one down will be C natural. Sixth one down, B natural, Shuddha. Next one will be Fa or A. Next we have Ma, which is the note G. Next we have Shadaga, which is F sharp. And next we have Re, which is E natural. And then D, C sharp, D. So you can hear we're moving Gare Sani Ni Da. So that's our sympathetic tuning. Now if you have four chikaris like a Balayat Khan style, then I would use the F sharp as the go. Alright, great. So let's go ahead and get into ascending and descending in Rag Khamaj. Uh, we're going to start on Mi, Shuddha Mi, for our ascent and I'll go ahead and play it for you. So notice, Mi Sa Ga, we skip Re on the way up. Mi Sa Ga Ma Fa Da, Mi Sa. And we're using all Shud the Ni. So try this ascent with me, starting from Shud the Ni. One, two, Mi Sa Ga Again, Mi Sa Ga Ma Fa Da, Mi Sa. One more time, Mi Sa Ga Ma Fa Da, Mi Sa. Great. Now let's look at the descending pattern. How do we come back down? And to descend, we're here at Sa. Now we take Komomi, 
We're taking the flat knee on the way down. So sa ni ba pa ma ba re si. So the way down is all seven notes with komo ni. Sa ni ba pa ma ba re si. Again descending from sa ni ba pa ma ba re si. So let's take this. Fullest and descent starting from here. One, two. Descent. Again. Great, so this is the first step in really understanding the movement of Kamaj. Take some time to practice this and get comfortable and make sure you're using the correct knee on the way up and the way down. Okay, next I want to teach you a very important sargam in Kamaj. This is one of the key compositions that students learn in Kamaj. It's, it was um, composed by Pandit Bhattakande who developed the thought system um, and is a very important source for uh, material in this music. So this uh, Sargam will do Ashtai Antra and it's just a great piece showing the movements of Kamaj. Uh, I'll start by just playing the full Ashtai before we break it down. Here it is. Song. So let's go ahead and learn this uh, lovely piece. So we start with ga, second finger. Ga, ga, sa, ga, ma, pa, ga, ma. Let's get that much. Three, four, ga, ga, sa, ga, ma, pa, ga, ma. So I'm using my second finger on pa in the first note, ga. Otherwise, it's all first finger. Three, four. Ga, ga, sa, ga, ma, pa, ga, ma. One, two. Ga, ga, sa, ga, ma, pa, ga, ma. One, two. Take from da da ni sa chik, and then it's just the avaro, the descent. Sa ni ba pa ba ba ni sa. So 
that last bit is da mi sa ji sa mi da pa ma da mi sa. And that's the whole ashtai. So let's put all that together nice and slow. One, two. Da da sa da. time to get those phrases and get that together I'm gonna to go ahead and move on to the entre now for the entre we're starting on go first finger and we have <laughs> so this is a nice phrase that can be used uh, for kamaj in the upper register <laughs> play twice and now let's go after this we're starting on sa again sa de sa ni da ni da pa one two sa de sa ni da ni da pa one two sa de sa ni Next. We'll go from sa de sa ni. Sa de sa ni da ni da pa da ma pa ga. part ni sa ga ma pa ga rest ni sa ga ma pa ga rest ma ni da chi ma pa ga chi now we're back to the same line from the first part da ni sa So let's go ahead. I'll play the whole entree nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Go.
All right, great. So this is the whole piece. You can take some time to get these phrases. I'm gonna go ahead and play it with the tabla so you have that as a reference. Nice and slow. Uh, the piece is pretty flexible in the tempo. It can go slow to fast as you're comfortable. So let's start it nice and slow. We'll start at 85. Starting right on beat one. Here we go. One, two, three. Sargam to practice. Shows you a lot about the movements. I'll share a couple things about Kamaj. Notice that when we're approaching Sa, we'll always use Shudhani. For example, we won't go. But we can come to Komulni and then come back. So what you can do is This is very common. But then when you go up to high sa, you play shut the knee, and then when you come down again, me. So you kind of get hints of that in the composition. All right, so now you've got your ascending, descending, a nice composition to practice. I want to leave you with a few alap phrases to sum up our class. And because Kamaj is such an expressive rag, the, the use of mean is quite extensive. And so here's a few key phrases that are going to help you find the mood of Kamaj. So I'll go ahead and play this bit for you. Take these phrases as kind of a short chillin that'll really help you get the mood. So we start with sa ga ga. I'm on the re fret, but I'm pre-bending to ga. So sa ga ga ma ga re. Ga ma pa. Where the movements are, sa, 
ga pre ben ga ma ben to ma ga re ga ma ma ba. After this, ba ba ma ba 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 Crinton. Do these two together. Now our next phrase will go up to sa gamma pada nisa nisa. And I'm taking this from the ta fret, the nisa nisa. Gamma pada bend bend. Try this phrase with me. One more time. And then to finish. We'll just come down with our Avarohi. So from the Gamma Padha Nisa Nisa. And then let's do it. Okay, so for our descending, let's go from instead of just playing Sa Ni Da Pa, let's go Da Sa Ni Da Pa. So from Gamma Padha Nisa Nisa. One more time. I'll play this whole bit one more time from the beginning. Awesome. So now you've got hopefully a better grasp of Kamash. This is a wonderful rag. As I mentioned, it's such a foundational piece because so many other rags are derived from this taught. And um, enjoy this practice. If you haven't al already, please do like and subscribe to this channel. You'll be notified when new classes are released. And I always love to share that if uh, there's something specific you want to work on in your sitar journey to go deeper into these phrases and your technique, uh, I'd recommend checking out my online one-on-one -on -one classes. It really is the best way to progress and excel in your sitar journey. So information on that is in the description below. And I look forward to working with you on the next class. Until then, happy practicing.